Hello and welcome back to another Chris G review video. But today, I'm sorry, it's not a review. We're not gonna do a review today. We're gonna do a modification today, all right? Something special. So, uh, I think many people, if, you, are you, if you're into fountain pens, or especially using fountain pens for art and drawing purposes, then you've probably heard about this pen right here. So this pen is the Jin Hao uh, I want to say it's like X7, X750, possibly. I have to check on that. But uh, basically, this is just a regular fountain pen. Uh, when you buy it, here's the, the nib. It says the 8. What is that? Is that 18? No, it's an 8. 8 carat nib. Very nice looking nib, actually. But uh, it's just a regular medium nib. Nothing special. And, uh, you know, just a regular old fountain pen. Price is really low. Uh, it's a very cheap pen. Uh, but the good thing about this pen is that it is known for the ability to swap nibs. And you can replace this nib with many different types of nibs. But what it's most famous for, personally, what I think, is swapping it with the G nib. Okay? This is a G nib. So you can swap this regular medium pen and you can swap it into using this G nib. And if you haven't seen uh, my other video, I did a video about the G nib and a couple of other manga nibs. And this nib can give you a wide variety of line variations and uh, it's a staple for many manga artists all over the world especially manga artists and comic artists uh, i mean anime artists but this pen is uh one of those tried and true nibs that many people work with and and many people wish to master but it's always been connected to using a dip pen. And you can see I, I, done, I didn't clean this nib. But it's always used with the dip pen. And the only thing about a dip pen is you have to continuously dip into the ink over and over and over again. So when you take this nib and you put it into a fountain pen, then you do not have to dip the pen anymore and you have a continuous flow of ink through this beautiful nib. Sorry, Jin Hao, uh, we're gonna take you out today. All right, this Jin Hao nib's gotta go. As you can see, so this is just a, a regular G nib, uh, but the nib that I'm actually gonna put in is inside of this glass. There, you can see it right there. So the nib that I'm actually gonna put inside of this pen is a titanium G nib. Okay, and the difference between this regular G nib and a titanium G nib is the titanium G nib is uh, said to last a lot longer and also does not rust as quickly, which is necessary when you put it into a fountain pen because you're going to be using it a lot more often. So uh, it's the same type of nib, just the material that is made out of is different. Okay, so let's get into it. This is how we're going to start. First, you have to remo uh, remove this part of the ink. Actually, first of all, you want to take out the ink cartridge. Okay, I took my ink cartridge out. I mean, my ink converter out already. This is the ink converter. Okay. It actually has, yeah, Jin Hao right there on the plunger. So you take the converter out because you do not want to put ink into this pen while you're doing this process, okay? Take the ink out of the pen. Next, um, you want to make sure the body of the pen is connected to the, uh, the grip area of the pen. It's going to be extremely difficult if you try to do this with just the, uh, the grip section. So that's step number one, take out your ink. Then what you want to do is remove the nib. So what you want to do is pinch on either side of the nib and then just pull it straight out. So yeah, it comes out that easy. All right, you take the nib off and then the section. All 
There you go. All right, pulls right out of there too. This is the feed. Um, I actually was trying to do this earlier. I wasn't recording at first. And a couple of days ago, I tried to do this before I made the video and actually ran into a huge problem when I tried to put this GNIB into the, uh, into the feed. So what happened was, as I try to get this other GNIB out, gonna do this while I'm talking to you guys and what I'm doing right now is I'm just gonna I've had the nib in uh, water in in hot water and now I'm just gonna pinch the nib against the feed to try to spread out the uh, to try to get it to sit flat onto the, the feed section but the issue that I had was that uh, Originally, I put the nib onto the feed and put the feed into the grip of the pin, and I couldn't get it out. It would not go all the way into the pin, and I could not remove the feed section with the nib at all. I'm talking about with pliers, with my hands, with everything. I just couldn't get it out. But luckily, uh, one of my subscribers, I just wanted to say thank you to one of my subscribers who really helped me out uh, with this process. And their name is uh, Gagonia because I, they recommended that I use heat to try to flatten out this G-nib uh, so I can place it inside of the uh, piece and let it sit you know, flat on the feed. So thank you Gagonia for leaving that comment on my, uh, on my deleter video. I appreciate it because it, it worked. I put the whole piece, like I said, inside of a, 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 a cup of water and right after I took it out of the water, the nib slid right out. So I appreciate that. So here's what you want to do. When you put the nib onto the feed, you want this line of the nib head to line up with the first indention in the uh, in the feed okay so it should line up flush with that indention after you have the pieces together what you want to do is see there's a, a flat area right here where you insert the feed and on your feed, there's also a flattened area. So you want to line these two areas together to insert the feed. Okay, so now the feed is inserted. Before you push it too far in, make sure everything is lined up correctly. Okay, then what you want to do is you want to pinch and push. So you see that? Again, this is a lot easier if you put this nib into uh, a cup of boiling water. So that's what I did. I put this nib directly into a cup of uh, boiling water and just let it sit. Uh, because the first time I just took it out of the pack and I tried to put it into the, uh, the section and it didn't go all the way in, first of all. And then second of all, it uh, got stuck. And I think it was just because the nib was a little too rigid. So put it in that water first and it'll help out a whole lot. So now we can put this, we'll just put a little ink inside of it and see what happens. So we're gonna use some Noodler's Black Ink. Uh, we don't need a lot of ink cause we're just going to See if we can get this thing to work, but let's fill it all the way up anyway. Who cares? 
anything happens, then we can just put the ink back in the bottle. <laughs> okay, so let's see, clean off the cartridge. I mean the converter. Insert the ink. And also, so you, how you know that the nib is completely into the uh, the grip section fully is behind this. There's a thicker area of the feed, and then it it uh, tapers down into this part, right? So you have to see, and it's actually full. It's not this thin all the way through. Uh, if you can see that, but see how it gets a little larger right here. So when it gets to this area, that's how you know you're completely into the grip section. If it's outside of that area, then you're not far, uh, you're not deep enough into this section. So you have to push it in some more. Also, again, before you push this thing all the way in there and it might get stuck on you, make sure everything is lined up correctly. So this part of your feed should be in the middle of the nib and make sure these first indentions are lined up with the, uh, the lines on your nib okay and I think this nib is gonna give the pen a cool look on top of that because it's a gold nib and uh, it looks pretty dope to me so now let's put this on and let's get some paper and let's see if we can get some lines coming out of this let's see And it, it takes a minute for this thing to, for the ink to kind of run out of the nib. So give it a second and work with it a little bit. And another thing that I've heard is that some types of ink, actually I heard specifically that this Noodler's Black ink um, is a little too thin for this nib. So basically when the nib frays open, when you put pressure on it, you want to get a thicker line. Sometimes the nib, uh, sometimes the ink cannot hold together. So you'll railroad, you'll get, uh, your line will not be thick. Okay, so here we go, we got some Look at that. Um, yeah, so we got some, some line thickness. Let's see if we can get this. And I mean, it's not the smoothest. It's not the smoothest, so I mean, you're you're not gonna be able to just come, just the ink's not just gonna keep running. So if you continuously pull the pen across the paper, the ink's not just gonna keep flowing out of this nib. Okay, you have to kind of you do a line and then you you gotta pick it up and let it kind of reset itself. But you can still get the. Uh, See, like right there. I can't get anything out of it right there. But you can still get those beautiful thick lines that the G-nib is known for. And I think the biggest thing when you're using this nib and uh, inside of this pen is that the speed, the speed that you're writing has to be slow. You cannot use this. Uh, you cannot use this really uh, in a quick way. You cannot ch -ch 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 -ch, uh, write very quickly with this. You have to slow it down because the ink. You have to give it the ink time to run out of the nib. Okay. Kind of looks like Skeeter, don't it? <laughs> a grown-up Skeeter giving him a beard. And some sideburns. Last thing is because this is a dip pen nib, the nib needs to be cleaned often. Okay, you have to remove this nib and clean the pen very often, 
or maybe not even remove it, just make sure you flush the nib out and you clean it. Because, uh, and if you're not using it, take the ink out of it. Do not leave ink inside of this pen because the nib will rust. Uh, it's, uh, I don't think it's built as sturdy as a, a nib that you will find on most fountain pens because it's not made to be, uh, it's, it's made to be a, a dip pen, which is used and then cleaned and then set aside, okay? So make sure that you're cleaning this thing properly if you're using this G-nib and take care of it. And if you take care of it, it'll take care of you. Make sure you control that speed when you're using this pen and you can get some of those beautiful lines that this G-nib is known for. So this is a very cheap pen. I think it's about like $5 US. The nib is just a couple of dollars and you can get a, a few of them actually. And then you can modify it just like this all you got to do is just follow the same routine that I just did on the video. Get you some hot water so you make sure that your nib fits properly onto the feed. And then start drawing and have a good time, man. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you boom. Hit that like. If you have any questions or comments about this nib or the pen, leave them down in the comment box below. I'll be sure to get back to you about it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can, uh, you know, catch all of the new videos that I put out. Multiple videos a week, so it's always going to be new material coming out. So make sure you subscribe and you stay tuned to the channel. And I'll make sure I give you some more videos to check out. Thank you for watching. Peace.